What's up, my name's Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create your own live wallpaper using Wallpaper Engine and a video on your computer or an image or an animation. So while this video is centered around Wallpaper Engine, it'll also show you how to upload it to the workshop, customize it, and more. So first of all, open up Steam and then locate Wallpaper Engine. I've simply got it here, I'll start it up, and you'll see your wallpaper is now live. In the bottom right of your start bar, you should see the Wallpaper Engine icon. If you don't, check this menu over here. Simply right click on the Wallpaper Engine icon and then click Create Wallpaper if you'd like to make your own wallpaper. Otherwise, you can click Change to bring up this window here. You can choose how it'll work with multiple screens if you'd like and then select a wallpaper. Now, of course, because I'll be creating my own, how do we get there? Well, close out of that window, look at the Wallpaper Engine icon, right click it and then click Create Wallpaper. After that, you'll see this window here. All you have to do is click Create Wallpaper, use a template, view all projects or design your documentation if you'd like more info. If you'd like to load up a video and just get it to work cloned across all of your screens, you can click Create Wallpaper. Then simply select a video file that you'd like to be set as your background. I'll select, say, this one up here. After selecting it, click Open and then give your project a name. I'll call this to delete as I'll be deleting it later. Then from scheme color, choose a color here and hit OK. After doing this, you'll see a video preview and from here you can simply hit file followed by apply wallpaper to give it a try on your current setup. After doing that, you'll have it selected, you'll see the options available and you can enable or disable them there. Of course, this is just a simple video background and there isn't much customization. After doing this, we can click Workshop, followed by Share Wallpaper on Workshop. We can type in a name, specify a genre, add a description, set an age rating, set a visibility, I'll set it to say private, set a preview image, which we can either import an image file or we can click Take Snapshot and draw out a square, wait for it to get to the right frame and then hit Enter when you're comfortable taking a screenshot. After doing that, clicking Publish, the item will be uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Then we can click Show Wallpaper in Workshop. And if you're logged in, you should see this page over here. Cool. From here, we can click Edit Title and Description, Add or Edit Images and Videos, Add or Remove Contributors, Edit Links, Allow Comments, and even Delete down here. Now, of course, that's a simple video background. But what happens if we want something a bit more interesting? Well, we can close out of this completely, right click the icon once again, and then click Create Wallpaper. This time, if we choose Use a Template, we can pick a scene design over here, such as 2D or 3D scene, give it a name to delete 2D and punch in a resolution. I'll punch in 2K. After hitting OK, we have our scene for creation over here. We can click add an asset and we can add any of these presets up here for animations or we can add an image layer, text layer, full screen layer, solid layer, composition layer, particle system, sound or model. If you're wondering where you can import an MP4 video, well, unfortunately, as far as I know, you aren't able to do that here. You can, however, import an image layer and import a GIF animation. When you're happy with this, once again, you can go to Share Workshop or you can even browse for assets on the workshop to download a pre-made asset to add to your project. It's really cool and works really well. And that's about it. Hopefully you found something useful in this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.